The Neo Geo is home to some awesome arcade games, such as the Metal Slug and the King of Fighters series. With action-packed games like that, would you believe one of the best games on the platform is a golf game? Neo Turf Masters, developed by Nazca Corporation, is a great golf game. In fact, Neo Turf Masters is a great game in general. It truly is arcade golf. Well, yeah, it's a golf game on the Neo Geo, fair enough. Let me explain. I think of golf as a slow and methodical game that takes ages to get through, but in Neo Turf Masters, there's a lively energy through the whole experience. The controls are very easy to understand and are quick to learn. It's a two-click system. The first click determines the power of your shot, and the second click determines your shot's launch angle, high or low. The game uses three buttons for selecting, hook, and slice. Hook and slice curve the ball left or right to aim around objects such as trees, or making your shot curve back in towards the course if you're aiming out of bounds. On the control stick, left and right aims your shot while up and down selects your club, determining how far you can hit. The info given is digestible, helpful information, and quick to parse. You can see the whole layout, the distances get marked, the power and distance each club goes, and so on. The music is good. It has that Neo Geo jazz, that upbeat sound, and it adds a lot to the game's charm. The Fujiyama course is my favorite, and the other course themes are great as well. The sound effects are great too, like the announcer calls, the golf shots, the crowd reactions, and the fanfares. You can pick from six different characters, each with their own stats and specialties, like driving and putting. I like picking the shot maker because he has the best stat in precision. After you pick, who do you play as? Who do you play as? You can choose one of four courses to play through. USA, Japan, Australia, and Germany. I don't feel any course is more difficult than the others, so really you can go with any. After that, it's 18 holes of golf. It's more exciting than it sounds. The better you do, the longer your game will go. By default, one credit buys you play for three holes. Hitting under par will earn you extra play, with better scores earning more. For example, getting an equal will score you an extra two holes of play, while a birdie will just get you one. However, this works in reverse. Scoring above par will take away a hole from your play. When you run out of hole credit, your game is over and you'll need to insert another coin to continue. Although you don't really need to worry about this since modern ports of the game are essentially free play with their infinite credits. Getting through a full course only takes around 20 to 25 minutes. The game moves along at a fast pace and that's another strength to it. Since full playthroughs are so short, it makes replaying the game great. Try out a new character, new course, or go for a new personal best. Maybe even top the scoreboard. Go for it. You can do it. I first played Neo Turf Masters when it came to the Switch eShop through the arcade archives, and it soon became one of the games I like to default to when I want to play something for a short session. Is Neo Turf Masters worth playing today? Absolutely. Its pick up and playability makes it very easy to learn, and fun energy makes it a great time while you play. It's very replayable, and I definitely come back to it often. Even if you don't enjoy golf, I think you could still have a good time with Neo Turf Masters. Its simplicity makes it enjoyable for anyone to try out, and I hope you consider playing it too. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.